Okay, we are back. It is currently June 3rd of the year zero. Stats on the server. Still running. 19.3. Okay, so right now... Oh, it's in the middle of the night and rift activity is medium. Big one out here. Oh! Wow, okay, um, I, I, I guess I'll just start harvesting you. I mean, why not? Free stuff. Uh-oh. Start spawning. Come on, come on. I heard that rift. I can just vaguely see that rift, like, right over there. Oh, come- Oh, come on! Oh, God. I was expecting you to come from the rift, not from behind. Anyway, continue slicing you up. Uh, there's one still alive over there. Alright, let's get back inside. Here comes the drifters. Uh oh. Oh. Damage from the fire. So we got some quick lime in here. Now, in this place, I shouldn't. I want to get my farms up and running. See, I already have a full stack of flax seeds and almost full stack of rye. And we do have some vegetables. I do need to plant these to get some vegetable nutrition. And of course, I still need to go hunting so get that protein up. So, uh, what's, what should What kind of wood should I be using for this playthrough? I'm thinking of going back to maple, but pine is easy to access in here. I kind of want some maple, like, right now. Uh, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Well, I got some armor on right now, so I'm not going to take as much damage. Still going to take damage, but not as much. Let's start chopping down some trees here. I do want... I do want maple, if I can find it. Careful here, I do know there's wolves in this general area. Maybe I should go with pine because it seems to be prevalent. I don't want to use oak. Like oak is actually useful for cannon. Oh, I don't want to fall down that hole. Oh, we here finally. Here we go. We got some maple, but where's the rest of the maple trees? Okay, fine. Let's start cutting these down. Now I am starting to run low on these shears. So, just prune this off. Get the sticks first. Gotta be careful around this hole.
Okay, I think that's good enough. Still gonna take a while to chop down this tree because it's a flint axe. Now I do have an iron bloom ready to go and I can work it because I have a uh, bismuth bronze anvil. I got that iron from looting the ruins. It's just enough for one uh, ingot. So basically one tool. But I haven't officially found an iron deposit, though I think I have a good idea of where I can find one. In the last play session, I marked an area where I'll be digging a hole down to bedrock. If all goes well, I'll find a deposit there. Or at least one nearby. Or, some, or like somewhere in the caves. Okay, that's good enough. Got 13 logs at this point. I just want to make our fencing material with maple. Because the last place, in the last playthrough, I used pine for the wood material. Here's, oh, here's more maple. All right, let's munch on this. Okay, I'll take one more tree. Just so that we have enough boards. At the very least, I'm going to have a lot of sticks to work with. Let's chop this down. A 20 so far. So I've decided I'm going to set up my permanent house by the commodities trader over there. Like, we seem to be in an area with really good resources. Or at least somewhat close to it. And we have bauxite to the south. Get these right now. Resin. Nice. Wait. More resin. Oh my god. D two resin. Probably should like trim this. Because I do like this spot. Now, I believe I have five known resin spots. I found three over there to the northwest, and then another two over here. Is there, like, more resin here? Maybe I should, like, trim these trees just in case. Oh. I even went through this area m many times, and somehow I didn't see it. High fertility. So okay, so we got high fertility soil. This is in place of uh, the Terra Preta in previous versions. So we're just go just gonna generate high fertility soil instead. It's not as good as Terra Preta, but I believe it can be used to make Terra Preta if you get all of these things. But you need compost. Which I'm not going to make, but really nice being able to get this stuff. My inventory's full, but I should, like, mark this.
at least know that there's something here. And of course, the commodities trader can also sell resin. Like, if I'm feeling really lazy. But anyway, let's just get this all sorted out. Is this still going? Yes, it is. Where did I store my resin? Oh, wait, I spent it on the armor. That's where it went. Wait, let's get this out of the way. It's here. Uh, you have all of these seeds. Oh, you should do something with it. You gotta put away these sticks. the high fertility soil I should start looking for more of this because I am doing farming I was originally just gonna do the medium fertility soil but looks like I'm starting to find the high fertility soil right here is a saw should be good for now it's away now, I'm hoping that this would hurt me up, but it's done already. Because what I wanted to do... Oh, well, I guess... You can't really stack the... Or, yes, you can. You can stack the ingot molds. That's what I wanted to do is just put the ingot molds here. That I can pour stuff. Wait, do I have coal anymore? I got like one, two black coal left. So that should be just enough to... We'll do bismuth bronze. And I have these torches. And I have quick lime... I'll deal with this later. Ah, uh, here comes the panning music. Running late. So I just want to warm this up so that I can pour it into molds. Which is in here anyway. Oh, it's just 200. So I guess... 200 more... Bismuth, or two ingots. Now, what I want to do is... <sighs> I put away my sticks. Oh, well, I'll just... Let's get some more. Which, we only have 77 durability left. Let's try to make this count. Yeah, that's not working with this tree. But we have 28, so good enough, I guess. Let's get more sticks along the way. It doesn't seem like the pine trees are really thick with branchy things. And now my thing is gone. But so we are in an area with medium fertility soil and that's what I'm going to use for the farms. But anyway. Over there where the trader is, I'm gonna 
put the farms nearby because that's where my permanent home will be. Probably should check the trader again as well. I'd have something new. And of course, I'll be exploring these caves eventually. I do know there's resources down there. Oh, it's less than one day left. So I'm going to be building around here because it's relatively flat. I, it's near water. I can get some crops going. I guess let's start leveling this. So by setting up our house here, we'll have easy access to the south where I can get bauxite. I did pro-pick some sulfur and black coal over there. Didn't find the deposits, but I know that it can spawn there in, in a reasonable amount. And my shovel's almost out, and then I'll be back to using flint. Also gotta remember that I have stuff cooking in the crucible. Like I need to pour those uh, metal things. Store up our stuff in this storage. So this is really convenient having this here. Not this. Yeah, that's another reason I want to set up by a trader. It also has extra storage. So that probably won't mean anything later on once I have my own house and my own storage. Hopefully I didn't stay out too long. Like, I don't want it to solidify again. Because I don't have that much... Black like coal. You have access to multiple brown coal deposits. And I can, I guess I can use that too. In this case. Probably should check. See if these trees have resin as well. Because I got lucky with this. Just surprised it took me a long, that long to figure out that this was here. Yeah, it's still molten. Wait a minute. There we go. And pour two ingots. I'll do it for that. Put this away. Okay, what else do we need? Yes. Keep this going. Okay, bring an extra stack just in case. 
And it kind of sucks that I'm doing this during the daytime when I should be exploring at this stage of the game. But I do want to get my farms up and running as soon as possible. Because I do have lots of seeds already. Fruit nutrition is good. Okay, I really should be... That is a fairly deep... I really should be paying attention to these pine trees. Like, try to see if they have some resin that I'm not seeing. Just looking at the tooltip also helps. Also, keep an eye out for the high fertility soil, because it is spawning in this area, it seems. That there. Like, I always have to watch out for those few pixels on my screen when I'm like looking around because sometimes something appears on the screen and I don't see it because I'm just not looking there but sometimes I do catch it. That's why sometimes I miss things like that. Oh, is this music again? I'm just going to level this off while I still have the copper here. So what I want to do is level this area off. We're going to get rid of this hill and then start filling in this area over here. Looks like two more layers to go. Let's just start moving this. Shovel is almost gone. I'll just make this right now. Because I don't want to go back and make the bronze tools just yet. Put the sticks up. So if I just move this down one.
Let's cut through here. I'm also going to have stone paths running through here. Just need to figure out where the farm should be. We'll do like two more rows. Okay, so we'll have the fence over here. And then we'll dig a thing for irrigation. So one, two, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. Okay. Gotta get rid of this now. Sixteen, seventeen, twenty. Okay, now we gotta get rid of this layer. So I'm going to have a 20 by 3 area, that's 60, and then I'll have three of those areas in one single enclosure. One, two, three. Channel here. One, two, three. Then one, two, three. And then we'll be filling it up with water. 